Hey guys, my name is Azaria and welcome to my channel. Today I have my first Pennywise haul for the year and I'm so excited to share with you guys what I got. I had to restock on a few items as well as I picked up just a few things that I wanted to try out and or wanted to get. So stay tuned to see what I got in Pennywise today and spent a good bit of money on. <laughs> All right, so I have my bill here. Everything came up to $503.15. I don't even know how I spend that much money. Like, I'm looking down at the bags right now and like it just looking like a little bit of stuff for the, pr for the price that my bill came up to. It not really, <laughs> the math's not matching in my head, but Say what? It's things that I needed, things that I wanted to try. So this is not a monthly thing. Like I don't go and buy these products monthly. So it's an investment. Let's, I'm trying to convince myself that it's, it's an investment. Okay, so the first thing is my birth control. I use Lindanet 20. It's for obvious reasons, birth control reasons, and it works well for me and it agrees with my body, so I have no issues with it. This was $34.99, and this is something that I obviously buy monthly. Second item are these Glade plugins. This is in the scent Sky and Sea Salt. And this was the most expensive thing that I've got. It was $64.95. And thank God I do not buy these every month because there's no way that I I could afford that. This was the most ex expensive thing on my bill. $65 for two plugins. But I do enjoy having a room that smells good when I come home. And these work really, really well for that. So it's an investment. <laughs> the next item are these Febreze car air refreshener this is an scent hawaiian breeze i think no hawaiian aloha these smell so so good so so good this was 53.95 this is also one of the most expensive things that i got but i really like to use these in my vehicle like it just has your vehicle smelling so nice and i think one of these probably lasts like probably a month for me so this will last me about two months as well and yeah it's just i like to have nice smelling spaces so i really like to invest my money in these things all right so the next item is something that i actually always wanted to get and it's one of these spa headbands this was actually the last cute one that they have usually when i go to pennywise i see like the pink one i think there's like a cheetah print one and i guess this one is kind of like an in-between and I always really wanted one, so I was like, you know what, why not treat myself to get one? It's the new year, you know, I can use it when I'm doing my skincare routine, when I'm putting on makeup and things like that. So I just thought I deserve one, and I picked one up for myself. So this was $36.95. So the next item are these color. The next item are these color 3D foaming lashes. I always, always get these when I have some uh, somewhere to go that's important. I have a night out. I have an event. These, these are my go-to lashes. This is in the style Sin City. These cost $17.95. I just, I think mostly I just use it as a single use. I know some people use it over and over again, but I personally just use it as a single use. And it works really well for me. I'm not an expert at wearing lashes or putting on lashes and these are just really simple, easy and effective and yeah, I always, always repurchase these and I think the quality is actually really well as well. I Honestly, I haven't tried any other brand besides Kala because I really trust Kala as a brand but uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. This video might actually go up after Valentine's Day so I would have already worn them and yeah, so I just got these for Valentine's Day to wear and look really really nice okay so the next item is this color pumice stone i'm really sorry the lighting is not letting me show this pumice stone at all but this cost 8.95 this is the cheapest item on my bill for today and pumice stones are really really nice and effective when you're in the bathroom and you need to give your feet a little scrub i have one of those um scrapers 
Is that what you call it? Like it just it works to like remove dead skin skin off your feet as well. But I sometimes I find it's a little harsh on my feet and my feet end up feeling really tender after I use it. So I thought I'd get a pumice stone to kind of help rotate between the scraper and this to kind of just be more gentle on my feet as well because I I like having nice soft feet on a weekly basis and it's part of my weekly like shower routine. So yeah. So this is what I got to kind of add into the mix of my body care shower routine items. Moving on to body care stuff, I only got like three items for body care. I didn't really need much items. So the first thing I got is the Dove Advanced Care Deodorant. This is in the scent Rejuvenate. You all know I spoke about this in my last Pennywise haul. The scent is one of the best scents hands down for Dove deodorants. I recently was using the pink one as well as the pink Dove deodorant spray, which I really, really loved. But I love to rotate the scents, and I'm sorry I didn't get to show you guys the pink one. And I always show you guys the green one, but you cannot go wrong with Dove. You just, you can't. This was $23.95 for this solid deodorant. And to go with the solid deodorant, I also got the matching spray. The spray was $16.95, and it's in the same scents, one of the best scents. Trust me on that. Try it out if you haven't. You're not going to regret it. It really smells really, really nice and fruity and it just lasts on your body as well. This is why I always trust Dove for deodorants. The last item that I got for body care was this Nair Sensitive Skin Hair Remover Cream. So the Nair Sensitive Skin Hair Remover Cream was $19.95 and this is really, really helpful when on days that you don't feel like shaving, it's effective. It's, I think I leave it on for about 7 to 8 minutes, minutes max and it removes all my hair. You just can't go wrong. I don't buy these often. One will last me probably about a year. That's how often I use it. And yeah, so I just like to replenish once a year on this and first haul of the year must get the hair remover cream okay moving on to my favorite section hair care all right so i had to pick up some shower caps i got two packs because your girl wasn't playing that sometimes when you're going pennywise you do not get shower caps and i need the big size this is the extra jumbo shower caps because my head are all big <laughs> and like the regular size does not fit for some reason so i need the extra jumbo one pack of these cost $11.95. So together I spent $23.90 for the two packs. The next item is an item that I actually really wanted to try out this year. And it is the ORS Creamy Aloe Shampoo. Y'all, I hear so much stuff about this shampoo from other YouTubers. Every single, like, I can't even... <laughs> Every single relaxed hair girl on YouTube uses this shampoo at some point in their hair regimen. And I I haven't tried it as yet. So I didn't buy the bottle. I thought I would buy these packs. I got two packs because I have a lot of hair. So I got two packs just to be safe. One of these cost $11.95 as well. So it was $23.90 for the two packs. And I'm really excited to try this. Maybe I, I'm planning on doing some wash day routines on my channel this year. And I'm definitely, definitely interested in using this for one of them. So stay tuned. The next item is a new item for me. Well, not really a new item because the girl who braids my hair uses this in my hair sometimes. And it is the ORS Girls. No, the ORS Olive Oil Girls Flyaway Taming Edge Gel. That is a very long name. This costs $34.95. And usually I, I buy the small edge control containers. But I really wanted to try this one because when I braid my hair and she uses this, my hair stays. And I have very, very stubborn, stubborn little pesky baby hairs in the front hair. And... I find that it works really well. It also has a really nice smell. It smells like like clean shampoo. <laughs> if that's a scent. I really enjoy the smell of this. And yeah, so I'm really excited to try this on my hair. It's a big tub, so it will last me a while. Confession, I went like two months without edge control. And 
Yeah, it was really tough. Not always. I like to use gel in my hair. Sometimes I just like to use a little bit of edge control. And the struggle was real because I didn't have money for two months. So I definitely stocked up for the next, like, probably five months. <laughs> The next item is another item that I always hear YouTubers rave about. Always, always. This is the Caracare Detangling Shampoo. <sighs> Every relaxed hair YouTuber has used this at least once during their hair journey and they talk good things about it. I was between this one and the Design Essentials Honey Detangling Shampoo as well. But when I looked at the ingredients for the Honey Detangling Shampoo from Design Essentials, they had a lot of protein in it and I was looking for a moisturizing shampoo, sulfate-free moisturizing shampoo. So I went with the Kerka instead and I'm really, really excited because I just, I just hope this is all that it's raved about and it actually works really well for me. So excited to try this. The Care Care Shampoo was $49.95. This was another pricey item for me, but I really needed a moisturizing shampoo. So investment in good products and I just really hope it works good as well. My next item is another staple that I had to stock up on and this time I definitely stocked up on it. It is the ORS Replenishing Conditioner with Sweet Orange Oil. In my last Pennywise haul, you all know I usually pick up the packs, but I love this conditioner so, so much that I invested in the bottle because I feel like it's something, a staple that I always have to have in my routine, in my hair care stash, everything. The bottle is definitely, definitely needed. This was $49.95 and yeah, worth it. I use this conditioner once a month as a protein treatment and investment, a definite investment, a needed investment, an investment that will be used on a monthly basis. And my last item on the list today is a new product that I would like to try out. It is the Olive Oil, ORS Olive Oil, Oil Moisturizing Hair Lotion with Castor Oil. A lot of YouTubers also use this product and enjoy it. I'm actually using a TGIN Daily Hair Moisturizer at the moment and that is also a new product and I love it. Review coming soon because I love it. It is one of the best moisturizers I've ever used. So just please stay tuned for that video. But I wanted to add another moisturizer in rotation just in case. And when I was younger, I actually used to use this product when it was in the old green bottle. And this is a new packaging. And that was like almost... I'm 25 now, so that, that was probably almost um, 13 years ago, 14 years ago, when I would have last used this product in the old, old bottle. So excited to try this. I was in Pennywise hunting for a moisturizer because I'm very particular with my moisturizers. I don't like my moisturizers to have any kind of protein in them. Like, it must be strictly moisturizing products in, not moisturizing products, moisturizing ingredients in my moisturizer, no protein at all. Like it could have like a slight, slight protein, a very light protein low down on the ingredients list, but everything that I was looking at had a lot of protein in it and I was not about that. So this was the next best option. It does have silicones in it, which I'm slightly skeptical about, but we're still gonna try it out and give it a chance. This item was $41.95 compared to the other products. It kind of falls in between on the spectrum, but we'll see how this works and I have, I have good hope and good faith for it. So let's hope that it works well. And that was it for my haul today. I really hope you enjoyed this Pennywise haul. These are one of the videos that I love watching on YouTube because what girl doesn't like Pennywise and seeing products and buying products so yeah so I really hope you enjoy this video if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you like more content like this thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye Ooh.